Final Cut Pro 10.8 has officially been released and there's a ton of videos on YouTube already on its newest features, but in today's video, I'm gonna show you my three favorite new features that are out for Final Cut Pro. Let's get right into it. The first feature is machine learning color correction. So I shot this little clip right here in downtown Los Angeles and it's shot in S-Log3. So you can see that a lot of the colors are flat and it definitely needs some color grading. So what are we gonna do? We're gonna highlight the clip. We're gonna go over to this magical little button right here, click on the drop down arrow and click on enhance light and color. Let's see what it does. Boom, immediately it adds more contrast. It takes away a lot of that faded grayed out look and the picture itself looks much better. Obviously there's much more work that needs to be done, but it definitely makes it a lot easier when color correcting and color grading log footage. So if we want to make any adjustments to this clip, just keep that clip highlighted. We're gonna go over to color adjustments. We're gonna click on the color correction button here and you can see the before and after. Here's log and here's the enhanced light and color. All we really need to do to make this a little bit better with its color correction is increase the contrast and we're gonna decrease the black point. That gives us a much better look and looks like more of that Rec 709 color that we're all really used to. And there's two parts to this machine learning enhanced light and color. There's the light and then there is the color itself. So it's really cool that we can turn off and turn back on each of these and make manual adjustments to these two sections of that enhanced light and color. And here's my second favorite feature of Final Cut Pro 10.8, and that is the new machine learning slow motion. So we have this clip here, it's already been shot and slowed down to 60 frames per second. So you can see this person walking with a briefcase across this bridge in 50% slow-mo. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna highlight the clip. I am going to go to the speed. I'm gonna slow it down to 25%. So if we play it back, you can see that it's going to be rather choppy. It looks like we're skipping frames. Now in previous versions of Final Cut Pro, in order to fix this, we would use what is called optical flow, which is basically blending different frames together to make a smoother motion. But now we have machine learning, AI. Pretty cool stuff, right? <laughs> and that is gonna be under the video quality. We're gonna go down to best machine learning and watch what it's gonna do to this slow motion. Look at this. Now we get a little bit of motion blur, but it is way better than getting that skipped frame look. And to the untrained eye, this is gonna look like really clean slow motion. And speaking about machine learning and AI, I wanna give a big shout out to today's sponsor, and that is Artlist. They just released a new feature on their website called VoiceOver. Head over to artlist.io, then go to the VoiceOver tab at the top of the page, type in a prompt in this gray box, and then you can play back some awesome voices. Hi there, this is Josh. How may I help you today? What's great is that you can stylize this voice to make it exactly how you want it. Hi there, this is Josh. How may I help you today? Artlist has a ton of different voices for your every need, so make sure you sample all of what they have. Don't forget to click my link in the description box for two months free for any annual subscription. These AI voices can be easily filtered and they're also covered under the Artlist Max subscription. From the cutting edge of innovation to the pinnacle of luxury, Future was her name. It's a very easy platform to use, and once you've created your perfect voiceover, go ahead and download it by clicking on the download button, and it will download it as a high-quality MP3. It's as easy as that. So don't forget, when you use my link down below, you'll get two free months to your subscription. Check it out. Now, the last feature of Final Cut Pro 10.8 that happens to be my favorite is a very simple one, but it definitely streamlines your workflow and makes it a lot easier to work within this platform. So let's say you have a cool effect on a clip and you want it to be applied to another clip. Instead of digging through your effects panel, all you have to do is just make sure that that previous clip is highlighted and then just drag the effect onto another clip and boom, it will automatically be applied to it. So this is just a really nice enhancement, makes editing a little bit quicker, but definitely a great feature that's added in the newest version of Final Cut Pro 10.8. So if you found this video helpful, make sure you let me know by giving it a like and subscribe with those notifications turned on, and I'll see you in another one. Peace.